Our story starts out with a mom and her child at bedtime sharing a story. Mom, can you read me the story? Okay, just one story tonight and then it's off to sleep, young man. Once upon a time, in a land far away, a, a place, place where, where beautiful, beautiful flowers grow. grow and windmills spin in the wind, was a land called Holland. There, a family who lived on a farm enjoyed growing flowers and making shoes out of wood. But their young boy was not happy. He felt like he did not fit in. He looked different than the others around him. He was born with a trumpet attached to his hand, and it made it hard for him to help his dad make the wooden shoes. The boy spoke about this to his best friend, who was a cow that lived on the farm. The cow did not understand anything the boy said because she didn't speak the same language. She only understood cow talk. The cow noticed that the boy was very excited and thought that mooing would be the best thing to do at that time. The next day, the boy decided to talk to his parents about these feelings that he had. I don't understand these feelings, Mom and Dad. I am so different from everybody else. Even the songs we sing and play together don't seem right for me. And Mom, I don't like bitterballen. Bitterballen is a nutmeg minced meat snack, a favorite in Holland. The boy told his parents that he needed to go and explore these feelings. He had to leave the farm to find out where he fit in. His father said, My son, you have become a young man. Your mother and I accept your request. The next day, the boy left the farm. I love you very much, he said, as he began his journey. The boy met a lot of different people in his travels. Short ones, tall ones, all types of interesting people. As he walked through a park, he met a couple. They were very friendly, and they asked the boy if he was lost. No, I don't think so, said the boy. I am looking for a place where I can be with people like me. The man said, You should know that you are welcome wherever you are. But if it helps, we did see a poster on a tree over there with a picture of a man who has a hat just like yours and a trumpet in his hand. Full of excitement, the boy said, Thank you, and walked in the direction they pointed. The boy found the tree with the poster on it. The man was dressed just like him. Come see the mariachis, Los Lobos Tijuana. Tijuana is where I need to go, the boy said. Each place the boy traveled, he would ask, Do you know where Tijuana is? Some people didn't understand what he was talking about. Some would say, not here, young man. Or they said, I think it's over there somewhere. Some just giggled at him. The boy walked up to a man and said, Sir, sir, excuse me. I was wondering, the man interrupted. I am busy, said the man. Oh, I was just wondering, I said I am busy. The rabbit next to the man leaned over and said, He is busy doing his business. Oh, I see. I was just wondering if you ever heard of a place called Tijuana. I'm looking for it. I am not sure, but if I were you, I would talk to the Book Brothers. They know everything, said the rabbit. The book brothers, questioned the boy. Where can I find them, and what do they look like? They are really smart, and you will find them most likely reading a book, the rabbit told the boy. As the boy wandered around looking for the book brothers, it seemed like he was not getting any closer to this place called Tijuana he began to wonder if he made the right decision leaving home. The boy leaned up against a tree to rest. Suddenly, he heard a voice from above. 
It was coming from high up in the tree. The voice said, You're getting very close to the place you're looking for. The boy looked up, but did not see who was speaking to him. How do you know? Who are you? From the tree, a lady with wings floated down to him. I know because I'm your fairy godmother, she said. My what? exclaimed the boy. I'm kind of like your personal angel, you know? I watch over you. The boy thought that was pretty cool and that she had a friendly face. Can you help me find Tijuana? the boy asked. I can't tell you because you must find it on your own, but I can tell you you're getting close, very close, as she faded away. Moving on, he thought about how the fairy godmother wasn't very useful, and why did he need one anyway, when he came upon two people that looked just alike. They had big glasses and books under their arms, and they were discussing something that seemed very important. Excuse me, said the boy, do you? They both looked up in surprise. Please, young man, we are discussing why the sky is blue. Then turned away and started mumbling to each other. The boy remembered what the rabbit said, and he realized these two were the book brothers. There is a physical phenomenon called Rayleigh scattering that causes light to scatter when it passes through particles that have a diameter one-tenth that of a wavelength color of the light in the atmosphere. The color blue is scattered much more efficiently than the other colors, the boy uttered out, not knowing how he even knew this. The book brothers stopped mumbling to each other and stared at the boy in amazement. You are right, they said together. The boy said, I have a puzzle for you. Where is Tijuana? The book brothers started mumbling to each other again, and after a bit said, It's in a land called Mexico, which is a few miles down this trail. Turn left, then turn right, then right again. Go to the top of the hill, turn left, then go down into the valley and jump over the stream, then turn left, then right, then go through the forest, and you will be there. The boy marveled at how the book brothers spoke as one and thanked them both very much for their help. As he headed down the trail, the boy had a new skip to his walk. He was lucky that he had a good memory for things, and he remembered the directions the book brothers gave him. On the trail, he made this turn and that turn, then left and then right, deeper into the forest. When he began to think he was lost, he started to hear music in the distance and began to head toward the sound. All of a sudden, he came out of the forest and entered a place that felt very familiar to him. It was Tijuana. There was amazing music and all types of people, some that looked like him and even people from his homeland. He felt very much at home. It was a very colorful place with food he liked very much. The boy was so happy he could not wait to send a letter to his parents to come and visit soon. And the moral of the story is, no matter who you are or what you look like, we are all equal and we all have a place in this world. That's a great story, Mom. Can you read me the story about the fish people now? Okay. Just one more story and then it's really off to sleep.